In this video, we are grinding the brand new update inside of Haze Peas. And for anyone watching this, in the future, this is the update that they added the dough fruit and the soul fruit, which I did show in the last video on the day that they came out. And they're pretty good. Not gonna lie, they're actually really strong fruits. But in this video, we are grinding for all of the items in the update, including max level, the brand new sword, brand new accessory, the mirror fragment, and all the donuts needed to get to the mirror dimension so if you haven't already and you do enjoy this video please drop a quick like and subscribe it is free and it does help out the channel but let's go ahead and get started all right let's do this we have a lot of stuff to do because we have 450 levels to grind and i have no experience boost i might unironically pay for sub oh yeah they also apparently yeah look at this they buffed the golden mask look how busted it is now i literally get 8200 more health than if i have the dragon horns on i'm gonna wear that because that boosts my health up to 29,000. that is actually insane of course i do deal less damage now which is fine because i take way more now too Oh, yeah, we also have stats to max out. I'll start with fruit and the rest and go into defense. Okay, max both of those out. Perfect. But yes, before we go ahead and start grinding, I just want to go ahead. Let's see if we can get super lucky and roll one of the new fruits. I mean, you know my luck in this game. We might, we might get it. Well, we almost got a dragon. <laughs> okay, no luck. When can I do it again? I can do it again in 12 hours. Okay, well, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Okay, let's head over to the first new island, which is Peanut Island. And I'll just stick with gear five because it's, it's going to be so much easier. This is like the perfect to grinding fruit which is ironic because it's literally only usable near the end of the game right now but let's see first enemy we have to defeat is it's the peanut pirate we just gotta do that and then this yep this is gonna be pretty easy and hey we already got a donut cool i mean let's see so i'm doing a normal quest with no experience boost and also a bunch of lag ow i'm going up about one level i think every single quest well we got another donut too okay we're, we're gonna get a lot of donuts really fast but yeah one level per quest i think i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna pay for i'm guessing just four hours because i need this to be a little faster for real <laughs> i'm not really showing most of this stuff so I'm, I just, I'm just gonna make this as fast as possible for me that way every single time i do one of these quests i go up two levels so that that should be much easier oh my gosh another two donuts did they raise the percent chance from one percent or is my luck just insane we already have four definitely my luck oh my gosh the, the, the pumpkin mask stats are so nice for now that is like the best item in the game i have 32.5 thousand health for some reason oh my lord that's awesome and i just got another okay this is gonna be insane how how many donuts do you think I'm gonna have by the end of this video? I'm gonna bet at this rate at least 50,000 donuts. Has somebody dressed up as Katakuri right now? I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Another, yeah, we're definitely getting a lot. And there we go, level 3,200. Probably could have just paid for less experience because this is actually gonna go quite fast. And we got 12 donuts from that so far, so I think I already have enough donuts unless they raise the amount needed. But next one is the Peanut Captains, which is also four. This is also gonna be pretty easy unless they're too far away from each other. Yeah, that should work. And. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. Okay, 3,250. So now we have access to the next quest, which is the defeat Peanut, the SCP boss. Let's see how easy he dies. Not too bad. I did a good percentage. Awesome, not too bad. Um, he doesn't drop anything, though. And just to compare quests, we have 111.6 million versus 108.2 million. Honestly, not that big of a difference. I'm going to keep doing the Peanut Pirate until level 3,300 because these are actually much easier to farm like much much faster let's do it and there we go level 3300 we now have 29 donuts too okay let's head to the next island which should be in this direction yep there it is donut island where even is the quest npc here here he is 3300 first quest is the dough pirates these guys are over here okay it looks like these are the new ones i'll be grinding these are actually gonna be quite easy yeah just saying gear five is still by far the best fruit in the game at least for grinding because the fact that i can just use two moves and i just wipe out the entire group of enemies that is so busted and there we go 3350 so we can do the next enemy and i'm just saying that was incredibly fast this is like the best place to grind oh and i can't one shot these guys interesting do a little more damage if i want to kill them I'm guessing that means i should probably swap back to the dragon horns for more damage i see that that helped yep that helped no yeah but this is so fast like i literally can't do this any faster because of the cooldowns and that is perfect peak grind 
grind. And there we go, level 3,400, which means we can go ahead and beat up the tree boss. Let's see, can I kill this entire tree in one cycle of attacks? I'm almost 17% remaining. Well, not too bad. The boss is slower though than just bulk grinding because literally just doing this, you can't grind any faster. It is just not possible. So I'm gonna keep doing this until level 3,450. Or was it 25? No, it's 50. Okay, yes, yeah, so we, we gotta go 50 levels again. All right, let's do it. We're only 200 off max now. And there we go, 3,450. Honestly, super fast grind. If it's not as fast over there, I'm definitely coming back because that is like really nice how fast you can do it there. So let's see, where is the NPC? I, th I think I can track it, right? Yep, well, it's definitely farther away. But I mean, let's see, I mean, is it still as fast? Well, I missed a fourth and these guys look pretty spread apart. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind until 3,550 so I can do the big mom quest because both of these look slower than just doing the enemies I was just fighting. Well, there we go. 3,499. Are you kidding? I'm like barely off. Okay, one second. 3,500. There we go. Okay, 49 more levels to go. And then we'll start farming Big Mom. And 3,550. So now we have access to the Big Mom quest. So when we fight Big Mom, I can actually start getting experience. Now, hopefully we get this mirror fast because it is a really, really rare drop. As a 1% drop last time I checked. So like 2% for me because I have the game pass. And this is... Definitely gonna be interesting. And I don't think, did she have those last time? I don't think she had her two spirits in the test server. Well, really cool. Let's go ahead and beat them up. And there we go. First kill and no drops. Oh my God, I just read this for the first time. Yo mama so big, she became queen of the cake island. My Lord, of course they put a your mama joke. But there we go, second kill. Oh yeah, by the way, at this point, I have 54 donuts, perfect. I think I might have enough for the 10. And third kill, nothing. Fourth kill, nothing. Fifth kill, nothing. Sixth, nothing. Seven, and we got a donut. I thought I got the mirror for a second. I almost got really excited. Next one, nothing. I've already, I've already lost count. Next one, nothing, 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 nothing again. Also, Shogun appeared. I would go fight it, but I think I'm pretty far away. Mainly because I need gems. You know what? We might get lucky and get the mirror fragments if I just kill this boss real quick. There you go. Easy 25 gems. I definitely need those. Uh, nothing again. Nothing. Also, as of now, an hour of my experience boost passed. I probably didn't need to pay for four hours and just slugged through the last like 18 levels. Next time I'll just buy an hour, but nothing during that boss. Nothing again. Uh, nothing, 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 nothing. And nothing, and we're max level. So at this point, I don't technically need to grab quests anymore. I can just sit here and beat up the boss, which I think I'll do because that will be way easier. Yeah, look at that. Very easy. I'll make way less money, but as of right now, I don't need a lot of money. So let's do it. Hopefully we can get this mirror fragment. Oh, let's go. We finally got it. I think it's literally been an hour and a half of me killing that boss. Holy, I'm so glad that's finally done. That's the last thing I needed. All right, let's go turn in before anything bad happens because that actually took me an hour and a half to do i spent more time on the mirror than i did on actually leveling up this update my luck was not with me i got so many donuts though just look at this 61 donuts so hello now i can go ahead and give you 10 donuts Ooh, seizure mirror is now available all right let's go ahead and fight this boss this is my, my this is gonna be my first attempt in the actual game. We'll be able to kill it because it isn't that difficult, but will we get the drop? I can only spawn him in two times as of right now. Maybe three because he does drop gems. But outside of this, I'm gonna have to join other people doing it. But let's see. From one combo, I come down to 77%. That's also including punches at the beginning for extra damage. He's honestly not too bad, especially with, ob especially with observation because he can just mail him at the beginning. And there we go. First attempt and we just got the Doe Trident. Not the hat, but we got the new sword. So there we go. I'll keep using the Krampus. They change it. It looks the same. Not too bad. I'll keep equipping the Krampus though because it's much rarer. But like, let's see. If I talk to you again and I press accept it says i can't spawn him for another 118 minutes so let's test is that server based or if, or is that person based let's see fresh server okay i still have to wait so i have to find other people to spawn it for me or i have to wait two hours that is interesting i'm gonna say i can go sit in public servers and wait for, and wait for people to spawn it 
Okay, I found somebody else spawning a donut. I'm gonna let him hit it a whole bunch because I want to make sure he gets credit because I, I don't want to steal his dough boss. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's see, do we get the scarf? Uh, no scarf, but we, I guess we do get gems, which is fine. Yo, let's go. I just got it. Dang it. I, I thought it was recording. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, so I just spawned my boss. I mean, I'll keep running to this guy because it's basically free gems, but I spawned my boss immediately after. He just spawned two bosses in a row. This might be an old server that's letting me do this, but I'm basically just farming gems now because I get 70 gems every two bosses and you pay 50 to spawn one of mine in. So we're both making a profit of 20 gems per set of bosses plus bounty. But I just got the scarf. Let's go. Oh, I'm so mad that I wasn't recording because I thought I was. Let me get him. Yeah, there we go. Let, let me get the last percentage. I know it's 25 gems now, so I actually make profit. Yeah, this has to be an old server, but look at that interesting yeah this is my third boss i'm spawning in so we're actually not making any profit at this point we're just grinding bounty i guess percentage but let's go let me go ahead and see if i can equip that now it won't let me do it because my authorization because of the hockey not generating well this works yeah 5,000 bounty 60,000 cash honestly not too bad well let me equip it there we go thank you yeah this has to be a glitch so now my next so now the best set for damage is doe and dragon hordes let's go we got the scarf i'm so happy i got it I'm gonna get so much bounty if I farm this. Yeah, this is definitely a really old server, or this server just has a really weird bug where it lets us spawn bosses infinitely, which makes this infinitely easier to do. But hey, we have every item in the game now again. And hey, the guy I was running with got the scarf too. So all parties win. Look at that though, we look real good. I also got a bit of bounty from that too. This farm would be better if we had more people, but we don't right now, sadly. But yes, now we have every single item in the game again. You know, minus fruits, and now they increase the amount you can have of each fruit, so I can no longer do this for a while. My little neat rose. But outside of fruits, I have all of the items in here, except for the dino mount, which I'll, I'll buy that later. I mean, it's not really needed. I have all the accessories again with the doe scarf, and then of course we have all the other really good stuff. And then we got the doe trident, the newest sword. So now we are really set. You guys, very fun update. Took me, um, according to my experience, it took me three hours and 13 minutes to get everything in the update, which I'm guessing isn't too bad. I did technically find a glitched server, an old server, I mean, to get the scarf, but the scarf is definitely worth the grind if you want to have increased damage throughout this game because that 10% fruit damage, 2.5% more than the old best Tremor Cloak. You get a bunch of stamina, which I'm guessing is fine, and then one observation hockey, which honestly is pretty good because it's the only accessory that does that. Yeah, nothing else does that. See, so it's very good update. Not that long to actually grind it if you're already caught up. Probably would take me a bit longer if I didn't pay for the experience, but I'm glad I did either way because it did help speed up the actual process. I do recommend finding a farming server where a bunch of y'all can do the dough boss together and you just do it all back to back every single one of you will make massive profits on money gems and potential chances to get the items don't just use them by yourself that's where i made a mistake by doing it at a private server first time if it wasn't for that guy's server i would have waited an extra two hours per try which it took me three tries to get so that would that would be six hours to wait ah that would be a pain so i'm glad i didn't have to wait for that